Hey, this is Ryan Cavino with Northeast Realty Partners and RyanCavinoRealEstate.com bringing you the uh, market update for the last seven days for the hot bank owned homes. And I wanted to stress a couple this week. And the first one I want to go to is 20 to 30 Daniel Street, Malden, Unit 302. This property is a one bedroom condo in a well maintained building that is for a hundred and five thousand dollars and you can look at the pictures here that the lobby's nice uh, the people took the appliances with them but if you can look it looks like it's a um, you know a piece of granite it has a stainless uh, steel sink and um, faucet and the and the cabinetry looks nice and the crown on the cabinetry is nice and you can see it's got Wayne coating Wayne's coating and uh, open floor plan if you look here that is where the door is so you walk in Here's your kitchen. You probably have your space for a table here, and then your living room closest to the windows or the wall. And as you go this way to the right there, I'm, I'm assuming that you go there, and then you take a right to get to the bedroom, and then there's a bathroom on your left. And this is the angle from that hallway to, the, well, the shot of this picture here is if the person holding the camera stuck out their left arm, the walkway would go that, uh, that way would be the bedroom. Here's the bathroom. I mean, it could use a little bit of, um, uh, if you wanted to paint it, I mean, you could probably move in there. It looks like the carpet's in decent shape. I mean, this is not my favorite color, but you could probably paint that room for 60 bucks. And then, again, the bathroom, could you could do a, a little something if you wanted to for real cheap under a couple hundred to make that thing brand new. So it's got central air, it's got uh, a parking spot, there's 104 units in there. The condo fee's a little high, it's 400 bucks. And um, that is a, a little bit high. I'm not sure if the property will qualify for FHA if there's other foreclosures in the building, but that's something we could find out and get um, an FHA approval on it. So if you look, the property is assessed for 207. The person who bought this property bought it in 2005 for 250, $242,000 dollars. And it uh, looks like the bank bought it back at 130, so they were able to pay down a lot of it, or they put a lot of money down, I think. But so let's do the calculations on it um, for what it would cost if we wanted to get throw an offer in there. So let's say put an offer in for 80,000, 3.5 percent. Uh, you're going to be an owner occupied, and you're going to live there. And the insurance, let's call it 900 bucks. Calculate and view report. You're looking at a thousand dollars a month, a thousand seventy-two. So that's something that should be um, something we should take a look at. So give me a call. Oh, actually, you know, let's just check out the rest of the report. Oh, too bad here. Okay. So then we have 13 Ash Street in Danvers, 195. It looks like the bank went through and painted this property. Um, you can see the inside does look like it's in good shape. Uh, it's under the first look initiative through 11-29-2010. Owner-occupant offers, if submitted and closed by 12-31-10, negotiate to 4% in closing costs. So if you wanted to get uh, about $8,000 in closing costs, you could. Seller providing two-year limited warranty and at closing $1,000 selling agent bonus if... NS if five hundred dollars of NSP funds used by buyers part of the purchase price. I don't know what NSP means. I, I think it's something to do with uh, owner occupant. So then we have four four oh three Deerfield Circle in Peabody. This is West Peabody. This is a great, great complex. This is a property that is thirteen hundred square feet, two bedroom, two and a half bath. I'm not sure if it has a basement. One of the things I do know about these uh, properties is that the condo fees are really really high um there is 475 bucks for this condo fee so this is someone who wants to be in the huntington woods area not necessarily someone who's looking for a great deal but this is a bank owned in there and you probably can get it for less than 255 is what i would assume okay we have a property for a multifamily. this is going to be a uh rehab slash hold Type of property it is sixty three thousand dollars and I know for two bedrooms in Lowell you can get close to eight to nine hundred bucks on it so this is uh, if you wanted to buy it to fix it up um, you could be into it for say you get it for 50 you need to dump 10 to get bring it back to life so we'll call it 63 
put in 20% and then you get an interest rate at 6.5 because you're an investor and you have insurance at 1200 bucks. And these are all speculations, so don't hold me to it, but this is a, a good ballpark. Your monthly mortgage is going to be 613 and you're going to be bringing in 1600 so that's a good cash flow property with 1000 bucks a month. You get a couple of those and you're on your way. Now, here's a quick uh, few bank-owned single families. We got 48 Cross Street in Andover. This is a nice colonial, eight room, four bedroom, two and a half bath, two car garage. Um, I wonder where that fireplace is. It's probably in the, uh, it's probably in the back there. Looks like it to be over the uh, garage. Property probably does need a little work. It has the foundation of a pool. I'm not sure if the pool is operable. It does look nice on the inside. Northeast Realty Partners. Sorry about that. <laughs> and uh, let's finish up with 45 Surfside in Nantucket for 700000 uh, Let's see where this one's located, how close it is to the beach. So it's not immediate. See where the ocean is. Let's see if we can pull out a little bit. So it's a little bit. Uh, nothing on the Nantucket is too far away, but wasn't in, in the view right there. And then lastly, we get two twenty-seven Beacon Boulevard in Peabody for two fifteen. To start a home is what they call it—a four-bedroom cape with one bath. These probably two bedrooms down here. And then, uh, or two upstairs, or three upstairs and one down, or two and one. Um, property is assessed for 267, it's on for 215, so that's a pretty aggressive um, price. Maybe you can get it for a little less as well. I'm not sure if it was a price change or if it was new. It's new, it came on the market today, and it's been on the market before for 186 days with Coldwell Banco resi residential. residential brokerage out of Salem. Now let's check back and see if we can see any pictures from when they had it on the market to see the condition of the inside. Okay, so even at the 240 when they had it, it says it needs work. As we can see, that does need a little bit of updating. But for 215 it could be a good deal. Alright, that is the um, market update for the hot bank owns this week on Tuesday November 16th like I said that 20 to 30 Daniels unit 302 that's probably uh, the best looking deal for someone who wants to be in an owner occupied building so uh, if you want to take a look give me a call 978-835-6870 or ryan at ryancavino.com we'll talk to you soon